What is up YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video and it is Monday which means there are new Team of the Week items in the game. You can get them either in Pro Packs as you always can or they did actually add some Game Changer packs and bundles as well which you can get game uh, you can of course get your Team of the Weeks out of those as well. There's a ton of great content out there right now guys for Madden with all these Christmas presents or I, I should call them holiday presents. I don't know actually know what the hell they're calling them but presents anyway in the game there's a ton of great stuff uh, they also gave us a Bo Jackson to test out which is an awesome item I saw its attributes not as great as the the real Bo Jackson that's 99 overall um, but he is still pretty damn good at a 90 overall I think he has 97 speed great acceleration great trucking all that kind of stuff so if you're playing head-to-head -head seasons games right now guys you're probably seeing a lot of Bo Jackson unless you're in like a really high tier where people might have one of like the Barry Sanders or something like that that's even a little bit higher than that so anyway um, just wanted to hop on here show you guys the sets if you're unaware uh, as far as what the team of the week items look like this week I'm also going to do a couple of pro packs here at the end of the video if you guys want to see me do some game changer packs or even a game changer bundle be sure to let me know in the comment section below and hit that like button if we get 200 likes I promise you guys I'll do the game changer bundle here in the next couple of days uh, otherwise I might still end up doing it we'll see even if I don't get as many likes as I want to see on my video but uh, either way we're going to see if uh, what, what we have actually with the pro packs today uh, and then I'm going to show you guys like I said real quickly what's in these team of the weeks because I am super excited if you saw Ryan's video yes I'm super excited about Tony Romo being the team of the week card um, the one that you do the set for this is an awesome item of Tony Romo it's a card that I'm really looking forward to potentially testing out my current quarterbacks Matt Ryan team of the week which is okay, but I would really love to have this Tony Romo because if I remember correctly, he's got like 97 throw power or something absurd like that. So that's a pretty badass item. Um, also, you got your Jonathan Stewart here, which isn't going for too much right now. Yeah, about 3,000, somewhere in that range. Um, Ruben Randall, Charles Clay, and I also wanted to show you guys this Frank Gore is actually pretty solid. This'll, this might be the final Frank Gore card in any Madden game, period. So uh, definitely go out there if you're a Frank Gore fan, if you're somebody that uh, is a big fan of what he's done throughout his career, which I am, go out there and pick up this Frank Gore card because it's actually pretty solid. It's only going for 74,000 coins right now, which is pretty damn nice. Uh, 93 speed is, is very good for a Frank Gore. I was expecting it to be like 86 speed because let's be honest here, he's at the end of his career. But anyway, Frank Gore is a pretty decent card. Solid acceleration as well at a 92. I forget what his trucking is. Oh, yeah, 93 trucking. So that's pretty good as well. So he's really got everything you'd look for in running back. Maybe just a smidge slow, but for the most part, he's a pretty damn solid running back. So if you're excited about Frank Gore, go pick him up. But either way, you can add him in and get that Tony Romo card as well. So um, I'm like I said, I'm really excited for the Tony Romo. Let's take a look here, though, at the defensive team of the week item. Khalil Mack is your uh, is your defensive player this week. And guys, that item looks absolutely crazy. I, I couldn't believe when I saw the combination of speed and strength and everything like that, that item has. Um, but then the other items in this set, too. Solid items from Manti Teo, which I was kind of surprised to see him. I, I didn't really know that he had that great of a game this week. But yeah, 3,200 coins for this thing. Not too bad. Um, this this item's actually pretty decent. 85 speed, 90 acceleration. I mean, it's not anything spectacular, but given the fact that it's only 3,200 coins right now, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good price for Manti Teo. Uh, Kareem Jackson, another decent item here. Um, uh, when I saw it, I wasn't too impressed, to be completely honest with you, because... Uh, he does only have the 92 speed, which, and, and he's 5'10", so like, eh, you know, it's it's not anything great, but he's okay. Let's see what he's going for right now. Uh, yeah, uh, 45 to 5,000, somewhere in that range, uh, is about what I've seen him going for as well. Derek Morgan, Bowtie Morgan, as I call him. If you guys don't know why I call him Bow, Bowtie Morgan, I think it was the NFL draft where he was wearing a bow tie and he just looked completely ridiculous. Some people like that look, but I just thought it looked really funny on a guy like him who's super ripped and everything. He just looked awkward and out of place. Uh, and then we've got, of course, Jamie Collins, which is your elite for the week. Now, this item's going for a lot because this Khalil Mack is a badass card. 
Seriously, this is one of the ones that you're going to see on the super stacked teams. That Khalil Max is going to be dirty for quite some time, I have a feeling. So, um, Jamie Collins going for about 150,000 coins, roughly. 89 speed on this one, too. Uh, Khalil Mack, I think, had like 93 speed or something like that. So, uh, obviously, you're seeing some seriously ridiculous cards coming out now as the game starts to advance, um, as we start to head toward the new year here. So that is it for the team of the week. Like I said, guys, I want to rip through a couple of pro packs, see if we can pull any of these items. I'm also really looking forward to getting some of the, uh, the frozen tundras that you need to be able to do the actual holiday sets to get some uh, presents. So let's see what we can pull here today. Um, I'm not going to do the game changers right now. I am going to do just a couple of pro packs because uh, I saw Ryan's uh, game changer bundle and it really wasn't that great. So uh, we'll see what we can do though out of these pro packs. See if we can pull anything. Chase Ford, New Orleans coach, Toby Gerhardt. And that's an awful gold. But we did get a frozen tundra, so that's nice. We can add that to the set and I will do that right away. Oops, accidentally press cancel. All right, so. There we go. First set, Frozen Tundra is about the only thing we got, but those Frozen Tundras are going for pretty much what a pro pack is going for. So, um, all in all, not that bad. Not that bad of a pro pack. We'll try and pull, maybe, I'm going to pull five of them, I think, here. So, this is going to be pro pack number two. And like I said, guys, if you want to see a game changer pack or game changer bundle, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button as well, and we'll go ahead and rip some of those for you guys. Uh, oh, Eli Manning, you trolled me. I was excited. I was excited for a second, but no, nope, just ended up being Eli Manning, old Eli. Nothing really special in this pack, unfortunately. Go to number three here. Uh, like I said, guys, I just if I could get a frozen tundra in a couple of these, that would be uh, good enough for me because I want to open up some of these presents. I see, like, Ryan has, like, what, 20 of the presents or something like that. My friend Nick Jr. has a few of them as well. I don't know if he has 20, but he's got a decent chunk of them as well. So, uh, yeah, we want to get a couple more of these frozen tundras so that we can do more of those presents for you guys and also for me as well, of course. Uh, I want to pull as many of them suckers as I can. Ryan Tannehill. By the way, a lot of people were saying Ryan Tannehill should have gotten the team of the week, uh, the set item. I don't know. I can see that uh, over Tony Romo because he did throw for a lot more yards, but he wasn't as efficient with the ball. And I, I sound like a big Cowboys homer right now, but Romo only needed to throw the ball 20 times. He threw two incompletions on the day. And then they had Brandon Whedon come in and even he threw for like a 40 yard touchdown. So, I mean, the Cowboys were just extremely efficient in passing the ball this week. I understand Ryan Tannehill came out there, got the win, he threw for what, 400 yards, four touchdowns, and uh, but he did throw that interception and he wasn't quite as efficient. So I can understand why they didn't give Ryan Tannehill the team of the week item, but um, you know, you know, what are you gonna do? Hey, there we go, Frozen Tundra. So we'll add this one to the set as well. Ooh, come on, give me something, nothing else. Okay, well, we got one more pro pack that we're gonna do today, guys, before we wrap up today's video. But I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. If you do, make sure, again, that you hit that like button below. Jay Gruden, m and Bank Stadium. Let's go from the back. Come on. And Martellus Bennett. Eh. Eh. Nothing special here, guys. Unfortunately, we did get a couple of the Frozen Tundras, though. So we'll add those to our sets. I'm going to go a quick look here and see where I am on completing another one of these sets real quickly for you guys. Um, I'm really, like I said, I'm really excited about actually uh, completing some of these. And I, I guess just the, the two that I had in there. So I'm going to need to buy three of them. Let's see where they're going for right now. Um, it's kind of been up and down. So this one's for 7000 I guarantee this one's gone by the time I try to buy it. Yep. See, that's how quickly they're going, guys. These people are snipers on here. Well, now it's saying I won it, but clearly I didn't. Um, but yeah, they're going for roughly 8000 You can get you can get one for 8000 on a, a, a lot of these. So um, yeah, obviously you have to really weigh the cost and benefit. There's only really been a couple of them that actually pay for it if you think about it, because you have to put four or five of these in into the set. So if you buy eight of them, or if you buy five of them for 8000 excuse me, you're spending 40000 to do the set. How many of the gifts are actually worth 40000 Think about it. Just think about it is all I'm saying. I'm not telling you guys not to do it. I'm just saying 
if you're somebody that's scrounging up coins and you don't know what to do, uh, I would probably say that it's not worth it in most of the cases. Now, obviously, there's those rare cases like Bo Jackson. Um, there might be some other ones as well, like the flashback present. That looks pretty nice. But how many of them are actually going to be worth it? We've seen, what, three, four, five of the presents be contracts. That's not very good. If you get contracts, and that's what I've mostly pulled is contracts. So if that's all that I'm getting out of packs, I guarantee that's not worth anywhere near 40,000. Even if it's like 100,000 contracts. I mean, like, that's just, why would I even want that? I, I just, I don't know. It seems kind of frustrating to me that they would include so many contracts, but I guess they kind of have to do that so that they don't flood the market. So like I said, if you're new to Madden Ultimate Team, you don't have a couple hundred thousand coins and you're just trying to figure out what's the best way for you to build up your coins, buying presents is probably not the best way to go. I would probably recommend against that. So unfortunately, no Team of the Week items for us this week. Uh, really, like I said, I want to get that Tony Romo, but we'll see if I can end up using it probably going to end up sticking with Matt Ryan unfortunately I just I, I can't justify spending the 150,000 125,000 whatever it is that Romo's going for right now for a new quarterback because I don't pass the ball that much like I, I do but like most of my passes are short so I don't know if it's really worth it for me to make that upgrade maybe I'll wait till Romo hopefully drops a little bit in price so anyways guys like I said make sure that you hit the like button if you guys want to see some game changer packs and bundles if you enjoyed today's video of course and if you're new to the channel make sure that you hit Hit the subscribe button so that you know when I put out a new video. Thank you guys again. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.